Okay, so the big issue here with this stuff is it's the sum of the arithmetic sequences. It's called the arithmetic series sometimes, but I don't see it called that really on the IB exam. So we're just going to stick to the sum of the arithmetic sequence. All right. Uh, the book gives you this formula right here. Okay, that's the book that I use to steal problems from. And then the IB exam gives you two different formulas. And the problem always comes in the IB exam is that's how it's written right there. And people think that it's like one formula and they have to plug it in. It's actually two separate formulas. That's a formula right there. And that's a formula right there. All right, so it gives you two separate formulas. And you need to use one formula or the other formula. Okay. And that's where this becomes a little bit confusing. Which formula do you use? It depends on what you know. Okay. If you just get the two values, so you get u1 and then like u8, and that's all you know, you're probably going to want to use the green formula. But if you get just u1 and then a number and a difference or whatever, you probably want to use the yellow formula. So there's no right answer because you actually can usually always use both formulas um, depending on what your situation is. So when you do these sum things, you really, really have, have to be careful because you've got to make sure you read the question, you understand that it asks for the sum, and then you have to carefully use the formula. And a lot of times what they like to ask you is, they're going to give you a sum and ask how many terms. So I would really suggest that you spend some time practicing the sum piece. It's not any more complicated, but they don't ask as many straightforward questions. So they're just like, hey, what's the sum of the first 10 terms? Okay, they give you a number. They say, like, how many terms can you use to get a maximum sum of 500? Okay, and you have to be able to kind of think about what goes on there, and you're going to get an answer that you have to play a little bit. So spend some time with these. Make sure that you do several of them so that we can make sure that we're, um, we're up to speed with these.